Hello friends, I am champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about constants and variables in C language. So what are constants? Constants are the entities whose value doesn't change throughout the program execution. Means, let us suppose we have 10 items for which we are making a program. So we define a max with 10 items. So we can use max where we need to use 10. There are two ways how in C through which we can define constant. So first is using preprocessor directive and define hash define space the name you should choose for the constant it is said that you should take it in capital letters in block letters it is not compulsory you should you can take in small letters but it is a common rule which all the programmers are following so it is not mandatory but a good to use the block letters for defining the constant and second method is using the const keyword I will define your keyword letter in the lecture const int is a max int is the data type max is the variable name and 10 is defining the constant and giving the value to the max these two methods are used for defining the constant in C language. So now the question is what are variables? Variable is an entity whose values keep on changing throughout the program execution. We take variable, let us suppose we are purchasing the sugar and we take sugar variable as the input variable for the entry which the user gives to us so the value of sugar changes at every time we call it variable however it is not a rule that the value of the variable will change we can keep it constant also like uh, there are many customers which will always purchase two kg of sugar every time so it is not necessary that the value of the variable changes but we can change it the main difference between the variable and the constant is that we can change the variable value of constant but we can't change the value of variable in the program execution this is the main difference between the constant and the variable now how to define the variable first of all we will give data type then the variable name there are some rules of giving the names of the variables and constants first rule is first character should be an alphabet or underscore you can't give any digit or any special character as the first character of your variable and constant second point is succeeding characters might be dig digits or letters after you have given the first character as alphabet or underscore you can give digit or letter as your succeeding characters but punct punctuation and special characters are not allowed except underscore you can only use underscore in your variable and constant name identifier should not be keywords your variable and constant name are also called identifiers so identifiers should not be keywords so what is keywords keywords are those words whose meanings has already been explained in the C compiler there are some words the use of which is already been described in C compiler 
the compiler will take that word as a particular command so you can't use that variable name so you can't use that keyword as your variable name that is why these are called keywords these are also known as reserve words there are total of 32 keywords in the c language which you can't use as the variable name or the constant name this is all about variable and constant today we are going to learn about variables and constants in a practical manner so here i have made a program in which i have defined one constant as max whose value is 10 and another constant a of integer data type whose value i have given is 5 i have used one variable named b whose value is 12 so now let us take now let us see the output i have compiled this and then output so it is giving the output max is equal to 10 a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 12 now let us change the value b is equal to 7 i am saving this then compiling this and then run this here the value b changes b is equal to 7 now i am trying to change the value of a which is defined constant a is equal to 8 now when i try to compile it it gives a error assignment of read only variable a it says that a is a constant it is only read only the value of a can't be changed this shows that this is made a constant when i remove this and then compile it will run easily all this is about variable and constant today we are going to learn about print app function in c language here i have made a program in which i have taken a ch variable of character type string array of character type we will learn about array in our future lectures a flt variable of float type number variable of integer type and dbl variable of double type i have initialized all these variables so first of all we will print a simple text you can print simple text by placing this simple text in double inverted commas here backslash n is a special escape character we will learn about this escape characters in our next lecture and th this special character breaks the line and take the cursor to the next line and in this i have print character is equal to percent c will do the thing that it will replace the ch character ch variable of character type the value of ch will will come here the percentage c will replace the value of ch in a similar manner the percentage s will replace the value of the string percentage f will replace the value of floating variable percentage d will replace the value of integer variable percentage lf will replace the value of double type and percentage o is used to print octal value of the integer type and percentage x is used to print the value in hexadecimal now we will take uh, the output of this it is this string is equal to champion here we have just print string is equal to percentage s and percentage s is replaced by 
स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग कंटेन्स चैंपियन फ्लोट इज इक्वल टू परसेंटेज एफ परसेंटेज एफ इज रिप्लेस बाई एफ एल टी एफ एल टी इज इक्वल टू टेन पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर यू कैन प्रिंट एनी थिंग बाई यूजिंग दिस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स इन सी लैंग्वेज द बैक स्लैश एन इज यूज फॉर न्यू लाइन बैक स्लैश टी इज यूज फॉर टैप बैक स्लैश वी इज यूज फॉर वर्टिकल टैप बैक स्लैश बी इज यूज फॉर बैक स्पेस वेन वी वॉन्ट टू टेक द कर्स टू दी वन स्टेप बैक बैक स्लैश एल इज फॉर अलर्ट एंड देर आर सम कंप्यूटर्स विच कंटेन्स इंटरनल स्पीकर विच विल साउंड बी वेन वी गिव बैक स्लैश ए इन अवर प्रिंट एप फंक्शन If we want to print a single inverted comma, then we need to write backslash single inverted comma. And if we write to du- double quote, then we need to uh, write backslash double quote. And for question mark, we need to write backslash uh, question mark. And for backslash, we need to write double backslash. Here, here is the example. This. print f hello in the next line the backslash n will take the cursor to the new line i am will be returned then tap t backslash t backslash t do the tab work then the backslash single inverted comma single quote here champion then single quote it is all kept within the double inverted commas and in the next function i have done backslash n for the next line i love and the backslash uh, with double quote c language and backslash with double quote for printing the double quote now let us take its output and then the output here is the output hello i am backslash t make the tab gap i love backslash double quote makes the double quote to print here single quote is printed here this is all about using the escape characters for special characters in c language in printf function today we are going to learn about scan a function in c language scan a function is used for taking input from the user till date we have learned how to print anything now we need to take the input from the user for which we will use the scan a command here i have made a program in which i have taken a, a variable of float type then i will print enter the number enter the number of float type then scan f will scan the value entered by the user and save it in the address that ampersand sign is used for the address here the value given by the user is saved in the address of the a here the float a will do what it will take the memory it will give the memory to the variable a and scan f will do what it will take the value from the user and save it in the address memory memory where it is given a space and print f will do what it will print the value of a it is double inverted commas and after comma we have write a to print the value of a now i am compiling it then enter the 40.5 40.5 and here are 3 in 5 times 0 because by default it will give the value up to 6 decimals 
and if there are no decimal then it will give all zero 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 zeros let us suppose we change here integer need to change here d and here also d to the number compile it and it seven seven that's all about scanf function thank you thank you very